This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are taking a look at what is the best broadsword in the game. Now we're going to take into effect a lot of different things here, but before we can get started, I want to show you all how I got these swords and how I chose them. I have the spawnable item pack mod, uh, just one in here. I want to the view category, the melee weapons, and I went through this list and picked out every broadsword that is obtainable or was once obtainable by the player. So like the stone sword is not currently in, I mean it's in the game but you can't get it unless you spawn it in, but it has not been completely removed so therefore there's a chance it could be put back into the game so that's why you know it's in there and there might be a few others that are similar to that but I did not put any NPC weapons in so like um, the NPC bruiser sword and the cultist sword and stuff like that you will not see the oculus reaver that you can get you will see but the npc one you will not so that's how i went through and i chose them i chose all the craftable ones and just picked every sword that i saw in this list so if i missed any i'm sorry let me know in the comments and i might do them in a future video and compare before we can do this we need to make sure we get an accurate reading that means we can't have any armor or anything else like that on so let's go get our naked on okay and now that we are naked let's jump out of admin mode that way we can see how much energy we are using per swing or special ability of the sword so first we are going to test out the easily obtainable craftable swords so the iron broadsword the durasteel broadsword and the volilinium whatever you want to call that one that that broadsword i think that does it for the craftable swords and uh, we'll do the protectorate as well because technically that is kind of craftable. And we have our good buddy Punchy here to be our test subject for each of these swords. So let's give it a go. Now I have the uh, mod installed that shows you the stats. So we can see the stats here and we can see what special ability is and all of that. But let's, let's see it in actual effect. So normal swing does 10. Full on combo, what was that, 25, bounce over here. And that is our rising slash, which does a whole six. So the normals do not take any uh, energy, as you all know, the rising slash is gonna take about half of our energy, it looks like, per go. So there's one, there's two, and then we're empty. So you can perform your rising slash twice for a total of 12 damage. So hold up right there, pause everything. I forgot to mention this when I was doing the recording. So we're gonna pause, I'm gonna tell you now the situation. All of these swords are level one, and the reason I'm not wearing any armor or anything to give me extra energy is so we can get baseline stats to truly see what is the better sword. Most of these swords you will find and or craft at a much higher level than what they are, which means more damage. However, with a sword spawned in at level one and wearing no armor or no nothing does more damage than any other sword, naturally that sword at a higher level is always gonna be better than every other sword in the game. So that's the situation. Basic combo, 25, using all of our energy, you get a whole 12. So that is the Iron Broadsword. Let's move on to the Durasteel Broadsword, which this actually has the Super Spin Slash ability. And if you didn't see my tips video, which I will link down below, and in one of the cards, if you click the little card on your screen, uh, the, I actually show you how you can use this to uh, avoid taking fall damage, so spin slash. Okay, let's give this one a go. So, looks like normal combo, 25. So that seems to be the going uh, amount for that. Now let's see some spin slash action. Now notice that knocked him out. So the problem with this is, is that you can't really, even if you're on top of them, you're gonna eventually knock them out and they're not gonna take the full brunt of your spin slash. So what was that? Uh, 
12 it looks like so 12 on this one as well let's move our punchy okay so these two seem to be relatively the same other as far as damage goes with the exception of the um, you know secondary abilities give you two different effects but other than that the damage is about the same even with the special abilities because he gets knocked out you can see that he did 12 there as well okay let's move on to the vol volume broadsword however the you know the lightsaber so 25 and the spin slash was six and how many spin slashes can we get off we can get off two. Oh, by the way with the broads this you you kind of just hold it down to your your empty so you know the i forgot to mention that you, you we can't really judge oh you're gonna get like so many of these off because you just hold it down till it's it's done but uh anyway with this you can get off two before you're empty with your base stats now let's see if we're right on top of him still only six so you're only going to get six damage with this secondary ability oh we managed to pull off 12 there so you know about with the others but you're more more than likely only going to get six with your secondary ability here on this volume broadsword okay let's move on to the protector broadsword and if we do our attack so that was 20 still one more time so that looks like a solid 20 with that combo yeah once again another 20 so if you hit him with the full combo, you're going to get 20 and one swing is going to get you eight. Now our special ability is the charge. If we charge up the sword and you can see our energy is running down. So you can get off one combo when you charge it. Let's do that one more time. Charge, the energy runs down and our combo jumps up to 28. So let me see that one more time. Make sure my math was right. Oh, that was 20 there for sure. Let's jump on the other side of him here. Charge. Yeah, 22 plus 6 is 28. So yeah, 28 on your full charged combo. So you get a nice boost from that, but it drains your energy and you're only getting off one combo. Oh no, you can get off two combos. So you can get off two combos. So you're going to get about one combo, one and a half combos. If you're lucky, you can get two. But in general gameplay, you're probably only going to get one charged combo. So now let's do our slash. That was eight. Let's see what happens if he's in the downfall of the sword. Still eight. So you're, when, you, when you blow the, the slash there, you're only getting eight no matter where they're positioned. Okay, let's move on to the unique swords. We're going to start off with the, um, the stone sword. Now remember, this one's currently not obtainable unless you spawn it in. And then we'll just move on to these because it, it really doesn't matter too, too much which order we do these in because they are all unique some are harder to get than the others but I mean they're all purple bordered which means they're all gonna be pretty hard to get a hold of okay starting out with the stone sword it has the normal combo does 18 damage that's pretty decent damage let's try that one more time seven seven and four so 18 and then our secondary ability is the rising slash and once again we can get two of those off which is going to do 12 damage so not not a terrible one but once again you're not really going to spawn it in because it's not that great it's not even more spawning in let's move on to the uh time pierce so 25 nice solid 25 damage there pretty good now our secondary ability is just the freeze time and as you saw that sucked all of our energy down and uh didn't do any damage and then as soon as you knock him out so swing we cannot damage him when he's in the time state and then he comes out and then we can damage him so when he's frozen he cannot be damaged and then the secondary ability does no damage so something to keep in mind there if you're looking for high damage swords okay let's move on to the astro i'm not even I'm, yeah this sword the rainbow sword that's what we're calling it because i'm not going to try to pronounce that so our combo is what was that 11 11 and 6 
So another 28. Yeah, solid 28 damage on the combo. Now let's do the secondary ability. Takes all of our energy. Actually, let's try to get it close to him without actually hitting him because we seem to have knocked him backwards. Once again, not close. So you have to be really close when you're using this ability. And he's still... I thought it sucked them in and they took constant damage. Hmm. So let's try something here. Let's grab him. We're going to tear. No, it knocks them back. So that knockback basically creates like a shield between you and whatever is attacking you. So it would take constant damage, but if you're just doing it as a, you know, one hit move. Oh, there we had two together. So you might be able to pull off two together. Yeah. It's not it's not great. It's secondary ability is kind of cool and it's it's fun to think about, but it's not actually as far as damage goes, you're looking at like eleven damage and then they're gonna knock back and if they run into it three to six. So while it's kind of fun, it's also just kind of gimmicky, honestly. Okay, let's move on to the Soul Seeker. This has no secondary ability. And it only has a single swing. This is a broadsword, right? Yep, it's definitely a broadsword. It doesn't even have a combo. So you just get one solid swing of 10 damage. That's that's pretty crappy. This might actually also not be in the game anymore as well. I didn't check the wiki for this one. So yeah, 10 damage, not, not great at all. Let's move on to the Legend Sword. So another solid 28 damage. Yep, solid every time 28 damage. Rising slash is six. So it's it's another one of your just basic swords. Six or 28 on your initial and then six on your secondary. Okay, let's move on to the Firestorm's Fury. So it's also, now Punchy's a little bugged apparently, and I noticed this earlier, that damage there, you can't, you can't count. He seems to take a stupid amount of secondary tick damage for some reason. I don't know if it's just my game or what, but I'll spawn another monster in here in just a second that we can actually test that out on. So your initial hit, your initial swing is 10, and then they're going to burn for uh, secondary fire damage. Now, okay, we seem to be getting an accurate reading from the flame. Once again, it lights them on fire. Don't pay attention to his secondary fire damage. Let's just pay attention to the flame damage. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it for the full extent of my energy, and let's, let's get a, an approximate on our damage here. So, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. Bunch of 3s and 2s there. Uh, I couldn't exactly count them. But, you know, somewhere probably in the, I would say, 20s-ish. You all can slow that down and uh, give me an accurate reading in the comments. We'll do it one more time. So if you guys want to slow this down and get an accurate reading and post it in the comments, that'd be awesome. There you go. Once again, don't pay attention to that secondary fire damage. Now let's try to spawn something in here that doesn't take additional fire damage and doesn't have any fire immunities. And we're going to go back out of admin and hopefully not die. So let's get a solid reading on this fire damage. So it looks like he's ticking for one. Now he doesn't have any fire weaknesses or anything like that. His fire damage is should be completely accurate. And yeah, he's burning for one. So it looks like your your average monster without any weaknesses is going to burn for a single damage. Let's jump back into that admin and we're going to spawn in uh, Oculob. He has a weakness to fire. 
So let's give him a swing there. He does 15, and you can see that he's taken an additional damage from that secondary fire damage. He also takes five more damage from your initial swing. So that's what you're going to, you know, that kind of damage is what you're going to see when you attack something that's weak towards fire. Okay, so next up, uh, let's see, what do we want to do next? Let's do this one. So we have the um, Oculus Reaver. So 28 damage. You got that solid 28 hit. And our secondary throws an eyeball and changes our view and does not, yeah, doesn't actually damage. Let's see if we can damage him with the eyeball. Nope. So your secondary ability on that does nothing. So you're at your normal solid 28 damage like the other ones and you do no secondary damage. Okay, on to this, the Sol Solus Katana. This is the one that actually drops from the Hylato boss. Okay, and 25 damage, so you're actually doing less damage on your normal swings. Yeah, 25 on your normal swings. Now let's see the secondary ability. Oh, it, you know, it helps if we actually landed on him. Hmm, that was interesting. Oh, so it shoots up. Let's see. So you're probably eight, four, eight, and four. So what is that? 16, 20, eight, four, four, eight. Yeah, so you're going to average about probably, you know, in a normal battle, you're going to get about 20-ish damage from that swing. If you can manage to get them all on top of them and they set on them, you're going to do a lot more. But your chances of that aren't going to be as high as jumping up and, and doing that type thing. Okay, let's see how many of those. Am I still an admin? Yes, hold on. Let me get out of admin. Let's see how many of those we can pull off real quick one so one of those and then your energy is done you have to wait for it to refill so 20 damage with one secondary swing and then you can do your first swing which is 25. all right last but not least we have the hakus haku side this sword is the one you get from doing the quests from the guy in the in the outpost you know what i'm talking about you guys know i don't have to explain it if you don't know just ask somebody in the comments they'll explain it anyway our normal uh what was that 20 28 yep so we got the the normal 11 11 6 combo that you've seen with all of the other sword well with many of the other swords so that's to be expected and now let's see what our secondary does does that not do any damage at all uh, for a second there I thought it was in admin mode but it doesn't look like our secondary uses any energy that's actually really cool so you get a nice strong knockback He's not taking any damage from that at all, but it doesn't use any energy. It looks like it has a cooldown, however. So it has a bit of a cooldown before you can reuse it. It doesn't do any damage and has a pretty decent knockback. Let's spawn in a monster and just double check to make sure that he's not bugged. Let's get old Oculob back in here. And uh, actually, I'm going to stay in admin mode because we already know it doesn't use any energy. No, so you just get a, a nice solid knockback, but it does no damage to them. So that's that's pretty interesting. And I think that covers it. Okay, yep, that's it. That is all of the swords. So uh, I'll let you all decide on what you think the best sword is. So you have the facts now. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think the best sword is now that you've seen all of them in action with their base stats uh, or with, you know, the player base stats and their base stats all together. Before we wrap up this video, I want to give a quick shout out to my Firestarter crew. Thanks for hitting that notification bell and being the first to comment. Also to my Patreon supporters, thank you all so much for all your awesome support. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.